Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John and I are speaking with the old philosopher, the boomer <laughs> extraordinaire, Bill Jordan. Hey, Hello, Bill. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, has Have either of you guys been ill lately, been sick at all? Uh, I'm just curious. Oh, yeah, what, yeah. What went wrong? What did you have? What went wrong, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when you're ill, it's... it's good well, let's see. Well, hang on a second. Let me count those here. So one, two... Three, four, five, six. I've been basically not a hundred percent for seven months. Oh, wow. And mainly it's an upper respiratory cough. Uh, I, I went to the doctor last week wow. and they said now they're saying it's allergies. So they, you know, get Zyrtec and and yeah. they you know, they didn't give me the prescription for an inhaler, the albuterol. Wow. Uh, so, um, yeah, I've just, it's just been kind of this lingering thing of not feeling at the top of my game. Uh, but I'm, I'm not sick, sick. And if it, I hope it is allergy, if it's something other than that, it's probably serious. But well, I don't. 11 months ago, I had a really, really serious, hang, does a hangnail count? And it was like two days of back teen. Uh, it was terrible. I think for a guy that counts. Oh, good. Okay. Because it was terrible. So here's here's the reason I bring this up. When I get sick, and and I um I don't get sick that often, but you know, every couple of months something happens, strep throat, or um, I go to the doctor, the eye doctor. After I go to the eye doctor, I gotta come home and sleep it off. But I'm a firm believer that it's not only okay, but it's actually good it's therapeutic to be a bad patient <laughs> I, I know i know I, i'm i'm being honest about this being a bad patient <laughs> but the reality is it's not being a bad patient right i mean because all the people who are trying to take care of me whether i'm in the hospital and it's nurses or my wife or somebody they ought to know better leave me alone because what i do is i believe in whining <laughs> It hurts so much and moaning. Oh, 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 right? Whining, moaning, bitching. Let it all out because I'm telling you, it is therapeutic. It really does help. And and God bless those people that have to be around me. Um, I spent I, I have not been in the hospital much, but about three years ago, I had a week in the hospital. Those poor nurses. Oh, I felt so sorry for them. I am I am a terrible patient, and I just you know don't give me a button. You're gonna you're gonna regret giving me a button. I, so. I would I would submit to you that my wife would suggest that if I was in the hospital at all, at all uh, she too would feel sorry for the nurses, not because I would be whining and moaning and groaning, but just because I would be messing with them the entire time. Uh, <laughs> I just would. I'm I'm one of those patients that if I get the flu or a bad cold to where I'm like, I'm, you know, where you get the chills and you just feel rotten. Uh, I just go to bed and yeah. just go and sleep as much as I can sleep. Yeah. Dogs will come up and lay on top of me. It's like they know when, you know, typically they're 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 mama girls, mama's girls. But uh, if I'm sick, it's like they know and they will just they'll come and they'll spend the day with me. Um I'm I'm one of those guys. I think now my wife might take a different opinion of that, but I'm, <laughs> I tend to be if I'm if I'm really sick, I just try to sleep, and you don't have to do a thing. Yeah, and I I agree with you. Uh, for the uh, fortunately, the the few times that uh, uh, like when we were kids, we would get the grip. Uh, whenever you had something that was a high fever and a lot of pain, right. it was a grip. And I remember from the time I was a little kid. Great. I go to my room, get under the covers. In fact, take the quilt, and even if it was in the summer, put it over my head. Okay. And I don't want to be found or touched or bothered or asked anything for like until I'm better. And uh, how long would that last? Uh, generally a day, maybe if it was a really bad, okay. if I had to real right. bad grip, a day or two. For that same period in my house, everybody would be hearing. Wow. Mommy, mommy, wow. Mommy. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a different approach, I grant you, all right? It's not for everybody. 
but it works. Well, you know what? Yeah. I'm glad that it does. You haven't tried it with me because we we've, we've been together, if you will, for ten years, and I haven't heard so much as a peep out of you. Okay, uh, you come up. Uh, we live about uh, fifty miles apart, and once a month, John comes up to an eye doctor to get a shot in the eye, and uh, we sit down, we have lunch, we have a good time, uh, and but then I don't I don't hear from him for 24 hours. So he goes, so it, Penny must be taking the brunt of your Well, uh, absolutely. If you had, Art, if you had a baby monitor to my bedroom when I come <laughs> home from the doctor, you could live, you could just enjoy all of it. Ah. Here's, what I, here's what I think, guys. If I got, you know, like that sick and I was whining and moaning and groaning like you, John, I can envision my wife coming in with a nice cup of like chicken noodle soup to me. And spilling it on you. Listening to me. <laughs> And she would, here's, here's some chicken soup. It's good for you. Sip it. And I would take a sip, and she'd wait about 30 seconds to go, how do you feel? <laughs> and then 30 seconds later, how do you feel now? If I was that way, yeah, she wouldn't tolerate that too well, I don't think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, all I can say is that uh, everybody's got to do their own thing. But you know what all but of I, us can I, do? The important thing is, I wish everybody to be healthy. Oh, I, want, I wish everybody would embrace the boom. <clears throat> Health oh, is well. Absolutely. Remember, that boomer live your thing. life. Forget your age. Embrace the boom. And take, drink plenty of fluids. Amen. Thanks, Doc. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.